everyone welcome to today's video uh, today's video is a come shopping with us so me and Dave has decided to go to Ikea to pick up a few storage kind of things and uh, we thought it would take you along with us so um, I'm going to slot in some footage here of us in Ikea and all of the lovely things that I have in Ikea um, if you're new to the channel, hello, my name's Elaine. I live in the northeast of England and my channel is a lifestyle channel. So I guess what that means is I upload videos on lifestyle. It could be anything, guys. Um, it's quite an eclectic mix. So it could be um, hauls, shopping, anything to do with a house and home, um, gardens, DIYs, cooking, clean, not not so much cleaning, I don't really do any cleaning videos, um, but gardening, shopping hauls and try-ons, clothing, you know, and fashion, um, bits of beauty, you know, I do a bit of everything guys, so um, if it sounds like a channel that you'd be interested in, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel, it would be brilliant. So guys, here's the footage of us in Ikea. That's lovely, that kitchen. These are great for crafts, like these kind of shadow boxes. And they're in black. This is like exactly George, like George, uh -huh. his fur. If he went on this, we, he would blend in, wouldn't he? Totally blend. What? Did you face like a special this? <laughs> <laughs> This is cute. Another octopus. What's missing? What should we just say? It's missing. <laughs> Come on, you fool. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. <coughs> oh, that's nice, isn't it, with the lights? Hi. Come on. Come on. I'm comfy now. Come on. <laughs> There's no bar. <laughs> you brought me somewhere with no bar. <laughs> Bring you to all the good places. This is a lovely sofa bed. This one. Really nice that. Oh, this room's so cosy. Isn't that lovely? I love the way they do the setups in IKEA. You know, it's like a little flat. I do really like this room. It's really like dark and cosy. But I think I would only like it in the winter. You know, in the summer, it kind of would be well, too dark. But I do like it. And they've got some something in here, like a smell. That smells of like coal fire. A bit like coal fire. But it's ever so cosy. I do really like these nets. I'm thinking about getting some of these. Oh, this room's quite nice as well. Very 70s, the sofas. I do like this cocktail cabinet here. This like little bar, that's cool. It's cool. Every time you come in here, I admire these lights. I really do like them. These are the um, Kallax units. They come in different colours. They come in black and white. And honestly, guys, they are such a good idea. I don't know. I think most houses have got these now. You know, a Kallax unit. But these are the boxes that you buy. 
Great for kiddies, rooms and crafts and stuffs and things. Ooh, what's in here? A little salon room. Cute. Guys, these are really handy. I use mine when I'm in the bath. I put my phone on here and um, yeah, watch things on my phone whilst in the bath. Really, really handy. Oh, you can get this version for your tablet. Oh, I love all the artificial plants in Ikea. They're called Fedjka, all their plants. But they do some really, really realistic fake plants. I've got most of them, guys. Um, I've got this one. As I say, I've got most of them and I really do recommend them. Oh, wow. I love these Monstera leaves. I'd love them lights, David. Yeah. But they're not for sale, are they? Last time I couldn't, couldn't see them. Mm. It's cool. No, it's really cool. Now that is a cocktail cabinet. <coughs> wow. It's lovely. I think Emma should get this little table and chairs for her house. It's so sweet. Actually, it's a drop leaf as well. How much is that? So that's for the table and the chairs are £55. I do really like this kitchen. I think this and the navy one I like. It's so nice. We need a much bigger kitchen. Yeah. I know Emma has bought these handles. These ones for her kitchen. I do like this storage. It's really nice. I do have some of the jars. What's this one? I like this storage. And the glass. And not plastic. This walking sort of dressing room. Cool. Oh, guys, this is lovely. Oh, isn't that so nice? Love it. That's so nice. Oh, I do like this mirror. It's really nice. £50. Oh, this is a cosy little room as well, isn't it? Remember these mosquito nets, guys? They were dead popular. Great for storing all your perfumes and lotions and potions. What's in here? Do you have a can? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little firm. 
Oh, look at all these. Dressing room. It's a nice dressing table. Oh, look at all of the cuddly toys, guys. Oh, I used to always buy my son like a cuddly toy every time we came here. I've got some really cool ones. Look at the sharks and the whales. I just love the octopus. It's absolutely fab. And the turtle. Oh, check out the turtle, guys. The turtle is so cool. Oh, it's a definite under the sea theme. Um, oh, look, and jungle theme over here. Oh, look at the lions and the snakes. Oh, wow, how cool. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, look at the monkeys. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, if my son was little again, I would totally have all this for him. He had dragons and Minecraft and things. But oh my gosh, that is so cool. The Ace Kids bedrooms in Ikea. I have really good ideas. I don't know what he, David's doing over there. Hello. <laughs> Cute. Oh, my word. Look at these dinosaurs. Oh, it's a long neck. Oh, my. Oh. Husky dogs. And Labradors. Nice little beds for Pippin. Oh, the bedding. Oh, Emma. Emma, that would be lovely for Pips. Oh, gosh, guys. This is, takes me back. My son had this set. It's the babe in the bowl. Oh, wow. I remember him having these. God, still do them. Amazing. Oh, these are really cool. <coughs> The little fox. David, look at these. For Pippin. Isn't that cool? Like that. Oh, this bedding's even better. That would match perfectly. That would match Alice's wallpaper. I love these little fruits. Here they are on the wall. How cute are those little player fruits and veg? <laughs> Check out the pizza. Cool. The little kitchen here. That's cute. Oh, guys, this is an absolute must for a child. Honestly, mine love theirs, the easel. It's an absolute must. And this roll of paper. <gasps> this is cool. I like how they put week night instead of fortnight. Great for a little boy's room. Oh, I love this setup, guys. Love the wallpaper. And I wish I could get one of these. It's a hem nest, but unfortunately it won't fit in my passageway. Oh, I do like this, guys. This is brilliant. Really nice. 
These are good. I do like this guys, it's £12. I've got like lots of nice chopping boards. This is cute. Wow, they still do these jars. I do really like this storage. The glass. And they have the lids. You just buy the lids separately. So the food container is £3 and the lid is £4. Wow! So it costs more for the lid than it does for the actual container. All the glass straw storage. Lots of glass storage. Brilliant. Like kilnatite jars. Oh guys, this is lovely, absolutely beautiful that. Oh David, I feel a purchase coming on, David, I feel a purchase coming on. <laughs> oh wow, oh tell me that isn't pretty. I know, oh, it's gorgeous guys. If you're in the market for any of that though, and there's this one as well. Let's move on, I'll show you this one. This is a more neutral colour, but the same range. Lovely, absolutely beautiful that. Oh, I do like it. I've always admired these guys every time I've came in. But what about if the food gets in there? I just don't think they're very hygienic. They have five pound each. This is a pretty cushion. I like that one as well. Expensive though. Oh, that one's pretty as well. £19. Yeah. Love this bed. It's very William Morris.
this lamp is lovely. £29. <laughs> Me and David's just been discussing this, but doesn't these lamps remind you of the flower guy of, um, what was the flower? Home? Was, it, was it Home Pride flower? Yeah, I think it the, might the be. The adverts back in the 80s. Yeah, it's the flower guy, isn't it? Just, just want to get a pen. Just put a face on. on. Yeah. Go on, do it, do it. I'll never notice. These lamps are amazing, guys. I've got them in both this colour and I'm going to pick them up in this colour as well for Alice's room. Um, I do. I did pick these up for Emma's room. Oh, guys, I love this lighting. Like this filament bulb. Absolutely lovely. But this is the one that I'm after. But I'm trying to convince David that we need it. And um, he's just not having it. But look guys, you can turn it up and down. Isn't that so cool? I think we need it. It's convincing him. That one through there. <laughs> The Angel of the North. Oh, this is my favourite section, guys. We got these little lanterns for Alice's baptism and put them on the table. The water one here had £3. I love these candlesticks up here. They are really nice. We like this, guys. And it's six pound, but you're getting two because on the other side is this one. And David spotted this. Mm. Well spotted. Right, guys, I'm gonna show you what we actually picked up in IKEA because it was like loads of really lovely things. And um, yeah, but we did ma we did pick up um, some things and we did manage to get bits that we, we did want. So um, I'm just going to jump in and show you what we got. First of all, we picked up the tea lights. I always buy these tea lights, the glimmer ones. I don't buy any others, guys. I just like the IKEA ones. I've used them for years. Every time I go to IKEA, I pick up a pack or two. I also use them over at the caravan. They're just brilliant. You can't beat them. Uh, you're getting 100 and the burner hours are for four hours for each one which I think is just enough, it's perfect. Um, I'll have to pop the price on screen of these here. You would think I'd know after all these years, but you know, that they probably have gone up um, over the years. But um, So I picked those up. I also picked up these bags. Now these are called the Dimpler bags. And they're brilliant for storage. Absolutely brilliant they are. I usually keep my um, outdoor cushions in them and throws and um, they've got a zip, you know, the, they've got the carry handles, they've got a zip, you can keep like clothing in, you know, if you um, if you do seasonal clothing um, and, you know, when you take your uh, winter things out your wardrobe and swap them for your summer things, you know, you can put your, your clothing in these bags, they're pretty good for that. Um, I think they're £3, these bags. But um, yeah, I do really, really like them. We picked up a few of these. We picked up, um, oh Craig, I don't know, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We picked up seven, guys. Um, the reason being because some of our outdoor cushions need storage that are actually in these bags but they, they do have a lifespan you know and we've had them for years we've had them for about oh wow maybe about well since about 2016-17 so that's a long time so we're having to renew some of them now but um they do they have been 
battered about a bit, you know, in that time. My next item that we picked up was this lovely chopping board. And it's, it's really heavy. It's nice and thick. And it's beautiful, guys. Um, I think this was about £12. Again, I'll put the price on the screen here. But it's... Um, it's that one there. It's a decent size and it's got the groove all the way around. It's actually shaped as well. I don't think the camera will pick it up that well. Can you see the ends? They're like shaped angled sort of outwards. But again, it's a really good heavy duty chopping board. So I picked that up. I also picked up these curtains. Um, you'll have seen these in the video. Um, I was admiring them in like various locations in the shop. And I love them. They're called Lilian. And they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I picked up these. Um, they're just so pretty, guys. I picked up three pairs of them. You get a pair in here. And these are, I think they're £12. No, they're not. They're £15. £15 a pair. And I picked up three pairs of those. I think I'm going to put some in Pippin's room, you know, like a room here when she gets it. So I just thought that they were really, really pretty. The pattern on them's gorgeous. It's like, can you see it? It's really nice. So £15 for those. They are quite long as well, so they'll fit most windows. Um, they're actually 250 centimetres. Um long yeah so that's 98 inch drop so yeah 98 inches like really long aren't they so you can cut them they're very easy to cut i don't even think you have to hem them either you know my next item is this and it's this kind of draw liner you can also put it in the bottom of your cupboard which is what i've got it for i've got it for my sink cupboard you know underneath the sink because there's always stuff gets spilt in there no matter how hard to try not to and um i just thought it would save the wood a bit you know so it's um this is the the make of it what is it varia um so you can put it in your drawer it's just a liner guys you can actually get this in the white which is what i've got it in or you can get it in a more op like a more um sort of clear a clear color so I picked it up in the white. I've got a couple of those, um, you know, to do a couple of my cupboards. Mainly the one, as I say, under the sink. And then I've got another cupboard where I keep, like, um, it's actually a deep fat fryer. And um, so I'm going to put it in that cupboard. I might actually get rid of the deep fat fryer. Yeah, I don't use it now that we've got, like, an air fryer. Um, and I do have an old air fryer in that cupboard which is huge and I've never used it and it was rubbish but that was years ago you know the old type I'll show you it when I when I you know because do you know what I'm going to be doing the kitchen um we do need to make some alterations to it yeah I'm going to be doing the kitchen um and you know when I do obviously you'll come along on the journey but um I think it's somewhere off because we do have you know other things to do first like finishing off Emma's house <laughs> I think that's a priority, you know. We've just had like so much go on. Um, we've not had much time. We have been spending bits of time around there. We have done a little bit of recording, but when I've got enough, you know, to to show you, um, obviously I'll put another vlog up on Emma's house. But at the minute, you know, we haven't done an awful lot. So, um, but we will show you it. And of course, guys, you know, when when we are finished it it's going to be all befores and afters you know we'll show you the before maybe even the during and then the after so we haven't abandoned it you know it's just like had to take a space on the back burner for the time being anyway we're moving on i've got this because uh, do you know what i know a lot of you have been asking about emma's house you know what's happening but um it is happening still just slowly you know um right i picked up this and it's a rug steer you know, because um, when I put rugs down, well, when you put rugs down, especially on tiled floors or laminate floors, they tend to move around, especially when you've got lunatic dogs running around, you know, and they're like skidding on the rugs. Because <laughs> it happens, guys. <laughs> the crazy George is. He's absolutely crazy. He's so funny. He is. Um, 
it's when he's running around having a good time you know i call it the bichon buzz because they're, they're like bichons but bichons and pouchons which pouchons cross between a bichon and they get this bichon buzz if you've got a bichon you know what i mean and they um they just go crazy running around mad like for half an hour <laughs> And George is so funny he is, but he skids on rugs and things. So I've got this to try and help, you know, give a bit of traction. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a rug steer and it's called Stop, <laughs> which is, yeah, pro like aptly named, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm just trying to see how big this is. Oh, there you go, guys. That's the, the size of it there, in case you were wondering. And I'll pop the price on the screen up here. My next item was uh, these candles. I picked up two of them actually. They were reduced. So they were originally £6 and they'd reduced them to £3. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have a couple of those, you know. They're just like, they're like a Yankee candle, aren't they? Kind of dupe. I can't really smell it at the minute. It's. I think it's cinnamon. It's a cinnamon, guys. My sense of smell isn't great at the minute because I have still got this cold and chest infection. But um, yeah, it's cinnamon and I believe it smells really nice because I was told it smelled really nice. <laughs> and um, I, do, I do like the smell of cinnamon as well. So uh, that was that one. So yeah, I picked up two of those. I'm probably going to take one the caravan and keep one here. Or I might just put one away like and gift it, you know, as a gift. Um because i do like to have candles in things like that um for birthdays and things because i think you can't go wrong with a candle really because they do for me and female you know and um, moving on guys my next item was this box storage box but it has a lid it's a lidded storage box and i do believe these were only one pound 75 they were dead cheap um but that's those there and they're stackable as well i picked up three but I thought that's a nice little storage box you can use it for anything, guys. You could use it to put food in, you know, packets of food, you know, to keep the moisture off them. You could put um, craft supplies in. Um, yeah, you can use them, which way I'm going to use them. And that's inside of drawers. So I picked up three of those. And I do believe I might need more. But three will do for now. They seem like quite sturdy plastic. They're not like bendy in any way. So, yeah, they seem pretty good quality. Especially for the price, you know. My next item is this one here. And it's this chest of drawers. And it's really, really, I mean, crazy. this could be useful in so many different ways. You know, I've, I've, we got this for the allotment. Um, again, the allotment, yes, <laughs> we haven't forgot about that. Yeah, we have been over for the allotment, like, on a couple of occasions, and we have been doing some work clearing, which I have filmed, but, um, again, when um, when we've done, you know, enough, I will put a vlog up, you know, on, on the allotment, and obviously tell you our plans and things for there, but um, whilst we were in Ikea, we spotted this, and we thought this would be brilliant for the seeds, keeping like the seeds there. I do have a seed storage container, which is my one for home. Um, so I will, I'll keep all of my seeds for home in there. But this is mainly for the allotment where we'll be growing like produce, you know, vegetables and things. So um, yes, it's like six straws. It's really, really handy. It's quite deep and it fits seed packets perfectly. But this would also be brilliant for crafts and it would be good for um you know like sewing i'm thinking about getting the one to put like threads in you know for for like a a, a, a sewing room when well, i haven't got a sewing room but you know if you did have a sewing room i think it would be really really good for that again you could put it could be on your kitchen bench and you could put spices in here you know anything it would really look nice on a kitchen countertop you know, with your herbs in and your spices. Do you know what? I think I'll probably get more of these. Because they are really, really handy. This one was £22, guys. They did have a bigger one as well for £25. But we like this one for £22. Because we thought, you know, it's going to be perfect for seeds. Like packets of seeds. 
definitely recommend that guys I think that's probably my favourite out of everything I think that's probably my favourite buy but David spotted this one and I thought this was lovely as well it's a picture I hope you can see it it's a dead like kind of um, Victorian um, bot botanist kind of picture can you see it Got like the writing on the button now this was six pound and um i thought well it's not bad for six pound you know it's unframed we do need to get a frame for it but i thought it's not bad for six pound but then guys it's got another picture on the reverse side how cool is that so we've got two pictures two prints for six pound um i just i love it you know we're probably going to put it in the in the shed at the allotment there is a shed there guys you will see that you will definitely see that um but we're not keeping that shed you know we're getting a new one and um yeah we're gonna have like we're gonna put this in you know i'm kind of botanist kind of prints ow <laughs> wow it's dangerous <laughs> be careful yeah we thought about putting this in you know it's just really, really pretty. So a £6 for that print. It's absolutely huge, guys. Really, really huge. Um, I did have some lovely sort of William Morris type of bedding in there. Well, it looked very, very William Morris-esque to me. Um, and I was quite tempted to get it. But you know what? Um, I've got lots and lots of bedding. And um, I, David just wasn't having it. You know, guys, he just wasn't having any of it. So I, I need to work on him a little bit. <laughs> till he submits <laughs> till he agrees till he agrees that's the word not submits <laughs> well, you know what i mean guys anyway right i almost forgot to show you guys um we did pick up these lamps you know for um pippin's room and we picked them up in the silver color i've got them um, in the silver also but the the emma's and they'll be going with emma yeah if you want to know what they look like it's like this one here in the gold um, I also picked up one of these guys. I've got water in it, so I've got to be careful. But it's one of these plum uh, plum pot. It's not plum pot. It's a watering can, and um, it was only ten pound, and it's great for seedlings. You know, watering seedlings. So I picked up one of those for ten pound. Um, I'm going to shoot off. Me and Emma's actually going to go to Asda and um, have a look at some clothing for little pips. Um, I do hope that you've enjoyed the video. Oh, and you know what? I just wanted to mention this. You know, I did the giveaway in the last um, in the last video, and um, Katie won a rabbit, like the bunny rabbit. And you know what? She contacted me, and she said, "Could you please give the bunny rabbit to Kathleen? You know whose birthday it was." So I was not really kind of her, you know. So I'm going to pass this on to Kathleen. Um, I just think it was so kind, Katie. Thank you so much. You know, I'm sure Kathleen will really, really love it. Um, so thanks for your kindness. And you know what, guys? Thanks so much for wishing Kathleen a happy birthday because she's all did in the comments. And it was so sweet if you all, you know, um, I know Kathleen was really, really touched, you know, by, by all of your messages. So I just wanted to say a big, big thank you for that, guys. Really. You made a dear. You really made a dear. And not only yours, our families as well. I'm going to shoot off and um, I'll see you in the next one, which will be on Sunday. I believe it'll be on Sunday guys so hopefully you enjoy me then and I'll see you then bye for now bye